Alright, and welcome back to part two of this terrain editor tutorial. I've changed my tile set just because I've been looking at brown sand for the last two tutorials, so I wanted to change it up a little bit. And if you missed the first part of this tutorial, uh, I basically I just went over the add texture brush and I kind of went over some of the, the basic uh, options and settings and did a quick overview of the terrain brush palette. So if you want to check that out, I'll have a link up for that and starting in part two let's just go ahead and move right into the road brush so go ahead and click on the road brush and you'll see that there's really only one setting that you can mess with and that is the road width and very self-explanatory uh, you can just either make the road wide or you can make it narrow or anywhere in between uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go with a nice narrow road. You can't really see it, but there's a small orange circle at the tip of my mouse arrow, and this is basically my road point. So I click the mouse button to drop the first point, and then I can choose anywhere that I want to drop the second point, and there's gonna be a line between those two points, and along that line is where the road is placed. And something cool that you can do is you can drag the mouse uh, along your path between your two points and you can curve your road. Just don't take it too far or it will break the line. But if you go out just a little bit, as you see here I get a little curve action going and just kind of make my road look a little bit more natural on the fly. And the only other thing that you need to know about roads is if you hold down control you can break the road action and this actually just picks that point up off the map and lets you move to another spot so say I want to uh, make road up here in the corner I just let go of control click the mouse to drop my first point set my second point and I've got road in a new spot so that's it for the road brush and we're gonna move to the height tool next so uh, stick around for that and I'll see you soon Alright, and moving right along to the height brush, uh, you'll see that we've got many operations that we can use with the height brush. You will be using the height brush quite a bit. Uh, that and the cliff editor are probably two that you will use uh, almost the most, uh, depending on what you're doing. But uh, anyway, jumping right in, we, our first operation with the height tool is the raise action. And basically this just raises the terrain. So let me go ahead and get zoomed in so you can see this but uh, pretty self-explanatory the more I push the mouse the more it raises the terrain up and your next option is lower and it has the opposite effect you can either use it to lower something that you've raised or as you can see you can also create uh, craters and uh, ditches and things of that nature just basically lowering the terrain even more so let's see if we can sculpt that little gully here all right and your next option is going to be your uniform this is just going to attempt to to make your terrain uniform uh, so it has no randomization and try to kind of make it match up as you can see uh, it's it's much like with that texture uh, uniform it's just going to make everything uh, even, basically, as even as possible, depending on where you click at. But uh, as you can see, uh, let me try and get on a better spot here. Uh, this section right here is all sorts of uneven. And if I center the uniform in there, it's attempting to give me a nice even plateau. So that's uniform for you and then you've got the noise uh, this is basically just gonna give you like a randomized uh, height type thing going on so as you can see here it's kinda raising and lowering uh, both at the same time so it's kind of a mix of the two and see if you can see that yeah it's a little, little bit easier to see uh, zoomed out, but yeah, that's giving you kind of a almost like a naturalistic type type look. And then you've got the smooth button, which I used a lot back in the Warcraft three days, and you probably will too. It's just a way to uh, smooth out your rough edges, and as you see, it attempts to make everything 
look real soft and non-angular, which is important for uh, natural landscapes or pretty much any landscape. So as you can see here, most of my jagged edges are just smoothing out. So uh, that's pretty much the height tool. Um, there is one setting that you'll want to look at, and that's the amplitude, and that's just like uh, kind of like increments and some of the other brushes. Uh, it's basically just the the amount or the strength of your uh, raise or lower, whichever one it is that you happen to be doing at the time. So let's go ahead and uh, it's not going to work on the smooth, but let's go to height and we'll do an amplitude of 50. Got a nice small, just a little bit of a raise there. And if we jump it up to four, you see we almost get like a, almost like a cliff. Actually, I think that's a little bit taller than a standard cliff, but uh, yeah, you can you can definitely see a difference there. And then you got your size and speed. These just manipulate the brushes themselves, and I went over that in part one, so you should be familiar with what that is. And that's your height tool. And we're gonna go ahead and stop right here, and I'm gonna combine the cliffs, water, and doodad brushes into the final third part of this series. So stick around for that, and I will see you guys soon. My style is UFO Totally unknown, you can't fuck with my new Zeph flow I'm hard to miss, you're grown to this, you're grown to that You're fucking new set, so I do it a lot Too hot to handle, too cold to hold You can't fuck with the chosen one I, 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 I want to knock you, I'm a ninja